Fourth and 15. Rivers. He will run. And Rivers is not going to get the first down because there was Micah Parsons, the true freshman. When A.J. Bush went down. So, so they have three quarterbacks that they like as well. Here is Robinson on the keeper. Micah Parsons chasing him down. Haskins tries to escape, and he is not going to be able to. Not very speedy when he gets outside the pocket. Robert Windsor in there at the end. See, this is not Dwayne Haskins' game. They, Penn State wants to move him off his spot. That's exactly what they were able to do. There is Jefferson, the running back, on first and goal for one. And it's Jefferson who gets the carry. And it's Jefferson driving to the goal line, and he stopped just short by Micah Parsons. Penn State's been clean when it comes to front flags. There's Penix trying to run out of there. Big body able to turn the corner and take some people on. He's out to the 35-yard line. Motions across. See if Penn State brings some pressure. Mason, this is just a test. I mean, an unusual call on third and five. They, they run the big belly short of the first down. And Evans spun around, met in the backfield. He'll lose yardage. There was quick penetration there. Gross Matos and Micah Parsons there to clean it up. Groshak leading the way. And nowhere to go. Stoned stopped up front is Danny Davis. So Brent Fry's defense dials up a nice play. Do that, you've got to protect. Rutgers offense is 121st in the nation on third down. Sipkowski was drilled in the throwing motion. They say that's a loose ball. Sharif Miller was the first to arrive for Penn State, but he might not have recovered. Micah Parsons lowered the wood on Art Sitkowski. That was a freshman on a freshman, and now some extracurricular activity as Sharif Miller has lost his helmet. Here's the sack. You're going to see number 11 right there with the strip sack. Micah Parsons coming around. Almost looks like a delayed blitz, but he got on the edge of left guard Zach Vineski. Rutgers still has not passed on this drive. Why change that? Back to Blackshear, and he's dragged down by the freshman Micah Parsons. Teeing up thinking they're going to get after the quarterback, opening up some running lanes with pass rush. Black's here again, and hello, Micah Parson. 10 freshman honors. Yeah, I mean, he's certainly a good athlete. He was a tailback. Uh, intercept one of those packages. Coming up from New Orleans on the run. Leaf could not outrun Micah Parsons, the true freshman. Yeah, and that's exactly what I was going to talk about. This guy can flat out run. 6'3", 240. Watch him come downhill and make this tackle in the open space. Neither team has converted a third down in this game. Nobody. Wilson just couldn't get away. The ball came out. I think it got out of bounds before it was recovered. Micah Parsons was there, the tremendously talented young linebacker for Penn State to knock it away. Oh, <laughs> you see why he was a five-star kid and wanted by everybody. That ball is inbounds, but they do not in any way come up with control inbounds. You're right. Behind their all big sky right guard. They do hand it off, run that way, but they're stopped. And Penn State gets the stop. Falling. Low snap, pick it. Hands to Davis, but immediate penetration by Micah Parsons, who led the team in tackles last year as a freshman. Bought on pass. Here's Parsons. He's going to read it right now, get right up into the hole, and make the play. Nobody there to account for him. Fumbled snap, pick it, has to pick it up and scramble, and he'll be dropped well short by Parsons again. A.J. Davis and Micah Parsons is having a tremendous game. Six tackles in the first half. That's his second tackle for loss today. Him right here. I mean, this guy's here to block him, and you see the quickness of Micah Parsons. He just jumps right inside the tight end and makes the play. Ingo Roo. This time he loses a yard. Xander Horvath hit by Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons wears number 11 just like LeVar Arrington used to. State again shows blitz. Here they come. Plummer. He's going to go down again. Sack number 10. This time it's Micah Parsons. 
Watch Parsons in the middle of the screen. He's one-on-one -on -one with the back. You try to cut me. I'm too athletic. Hop over. And then the relentlessness to go get the quarterback. Careful for a turnover here if you're Michigan. Patterson from the pocket. Flushed. Chased down by Parsons. Is he playing fast tonight or what, Kirk? Haskins. He plows ahead, but those guys who were maybe question marks at the beginning of the year, Kirk Shelton and Robert Windsor, continue to be really strong tonight. Deep in the red zone. Charbonnet, no gain. You see if they slow it down now, it'll be third down. Parsons again on the tackle. Haskins leaves and scores. Offensive line play has been a huge issue for this Michigan State offense. Elijah Collins does not get the first down. Micah Parsons made the play, their leading tackler for the year. Collins is back in at running back. They go to the pistol, and he's in trouble. Micah Parsons again drops it for a loss of about a half yard on the play. To K.J. Hamler as well. Dumped off to Elijah Collins. He stopped short of the first down. Micah Parsons in on it again with Keaton Ellis. Team, only Missouri by that standard has played a weaker schedule. Ibrahim, his specialty is short yardage. And he did not get the first down. That one good for 21. And a sophomore from Baltimore, Ibrahim. Rodney Smith. Driven back by Parsons. They, they, they need to make a couple first downs, and they're going to have to throw the football some with Tanner Morgan. Tanner Morgan's in trouble and sacked Micah Parsons. This is their third and final charge timeout. The center, Connor Olsen, got fooled by the quickness. He used to be walking around fine now. Third down and 21. Rodney Smith. Bowls his way back to the 20. Penn State can't stop it. This is not the way Penn State wanted to start defensively. Ramsey the throw. And he's got it to the goal line. There's a flag in. Matt Bjorsen was very close to the pylon. His dad was his coach in high school. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Micah Parsons. Just absolutely blew it up. Being able to run the football. We'll see if they can do it here. Dobbins running it on first down. And Dobbins lost it. Loose. Penn State has it. Lamont Wade. Number 11 as Dobbins comes in. There he is, and he just reaches with his right arm, knocks the ball loose, and then it's just a madhouse scramble. Fields can't jump on it. Ball is bobbing around. Fields pulls it out, and will be lucky to get to the line of scrimmage. Another fumble. Penn State says they have it. Fields is fighting for extra yardage, and Lamont Wade was ripping at the ball. Boy, that was close. Looks like his knee was down. It was close. The defensive scheme was brilliant. They knew that they were going to try to go with that zone read, so they brought the safety Lamont Wade on the blitz. Oh, my goodness, wow. that is so close. Mike Pereira. Our rules analyst is in the booth with us. What's the rule on a play like this, Mike? Well, the, the rule is here. Remember now that the ruling on the field was a fumble. So every time we say, boy, it's so close, is the hand coming out there? Is the ball coming off of the hand when it's being stripped? So, you know, you look at it and think again, go back to it has to be clear and obvious. Buckeyes team that is trying to stay right in that playoff race. On third and four, Fields running it, and he will not get the first down. And Ohio State has made the plays they've needed here late. First down at the Penn State 32. Justin Fields goes out of bounds. As they are running towards the side, see, he tries to strip. Well, maybe not. He kind of throws him down. Secondary players going out in the same play. Absolutely. And now, Micah Parsons getting in there and taking down Johnny Langan. Also helping out was Jason Owe, the redshirt freshman. Off of Micah Parsons, Langan pulls us. He does not even have a chance to get rid of this football. Micah Parsons is there.